Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So I have a question for you. Do you know the secret names of God? Now, I use that phrase, the secret names of God, because most people just call God, God, but there are all different names attributed to God in the scriptures. So they're not really secret, they're an open secret, but I realize that a lot of people aren't reading their Bibles and, and they don't realize all the different characteristics of God that are explained. So I wanna talk with you a little bit about the names of God. Now, what's really powerful is God in, in, in the Old Testament is called Elohim, which is not commonly translated God. But what's interesting is in Genesis chapter one, it's God creating everything. And rabbis would say that that name Elohim, it really speaks of the God of justice who creates things with, brings from disorder into order. So you have Elohim, it really speaks to the God as the God of justice. Now, of course, you also get the name that is uh, these four letters, like, you know, they're called the Tetragrammaton, a yud a vuv and a which is commonly translated Yahweh or Jehovah. And that really speaks about God in his covenant keeping mercy. So God is a God who, makes the covenant, keeps the covenant, God who is gracious and merciful with people. Again, another attribute of God. Obviously, the, the word Adonai is the word that we get our word Lord from, which speaks about God's authority over his subjects, where we see ourselves, God is sovereign and we are not. And so you have God as Adonai. Then, of course, you get into names of God like El Shaddai, which speaks of God's all sufficiency. God has all the resources that we need, right? You have things like God is God our righteousness, uh, Jehovah to Sidkenu in, in the Hebrew, and that God is the God who is righteous, who shares righteousness with us. Then, of course, you have Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals, you know, that God sees us as the great physician and he brings healing. And then finally, and there's so many more names in the scriptures, I'm just kind of riffing on some of them. You have God our salvation, Yeshua, which is where we get the name Jesus from, God taking on flesh and dwelling among us going to the cross for the sins of the world and being resurrected from the grave. These are all the different names of God and there are so many more in the scriptures, but each one of these names are descriptive of attributes of God that should be important to us. So what I want you to do, I want you to share this message because I want everyone to know the God of the Bible in all of his manifold attributes. And in the comment section, choose one of the names for God, either one that I shared or other ones from the scripture and why that means so much to you so that we can grow together. And God bless you today.